The devil snickered to himself as he approached the small house at the top of the hill in the middle of the forest. Isolated, dusted with a fine veil of early morning fog, a sky of foreboding burning orange. His hand wrapped around his butcher knife. The devil understood his animalistic desires came from the cult. It's what empowered him. Why he could take so many bullets. Why even when his body was uselessly destroyed, he still came back. His amulet glowed forebodingly. Heavy footsteps marching over moist grass, avoiding the gravel road leading to the building. A string of salvia ran down his chin with delight. His left boot slammed on the wooden balcony overlooking the surroundings. Two little rocking chairs moving in the light, frigid breeze. A large hand placed on the knob, twisting it. Locked. Huh. So much for this being a high-trust town. <laughs> the devil changed his attention to the windows of the lower floors. All close, too. His right eye twitched with agitation, but he liked the chase. His claw sunk into the house's rigid lock crevices as he slowly but surely crawled up the wall his weight being the only thing slowing down his ascent. Sweat ran down the devil's face. Perhaps he did a little much. It was getting rusty, perhaps. The devil stared with a hungry smile into the bedroom with the open window. <sighs> the smell of a young woman entered his nostrils. Sweet, tender, it was accompanied by the smell of skin care products. Chemical, artificial, strong, but that just meant her meat was so soft it melted in his mouth. He stared, unblinking and thinking. He had traded most of his brain for brawn, so it was a slowish process. As quiet as a church mouse, he pushed his massive frame through the window, his joints creaking and cracking, amulet glowing brighter as it prevented any damage to his body. Normally this move would have severely damaged his arms and shoulders, but thanks to the unholy powers emanating from it, he could now build himself up in front of the bed to maximum size. The blade gleamed in the orange twilight of the morning. His arm raised above his head. And chop! Vermilion juice immediately began soaking into the blanket as the woman's head was severed from her shoulders in one foul swoop. Over and over the devil began slamming down his tool for the trade. Covering the bed, his body, the room in thick layers of glittering blood. Warm, delicious. It ran down his face as the devil butcher did what he did best. Butcher a long pig. Was this video a little short? Left you a little unsatisfied? Well, that's because this is a clip from my most recent members only video. For just $4.99 a month, you get access to this video and many others like it, as well as a verbal shout out at the end of my normal videos. I would be happy if you joined us. Goodbye.